In this series, I will show you how to build a travel planning app with Flutter and Amplify. Users will have the ability to create trips, upload banner images, create various activities, and specify their categories and dates. I will use the Amplify Authenticator library to create an authentication flow for the app, allowing users to sign up, sign in, and reset their passwords. I will use the Amplify CLI to add an API to the app to retrieve and process the trips data. The API is a GraphQL API that uses AWS AppSync backed by Amazon DynamoDB. I started by creating a new Flutter app and opened it using VS Code. The app will use a placeholder image, Amplify BNG, when creating a new trip. I created a new folder and named it images, and then I added the image to the folder. I updated the pubspec YAML file to add the dependencies the app will use for its functionality. I will use the Amplify packages to integrate with the Amplify backend on AWS Cloud. I also added additional dependencies for the app functionalities such as state management, image picker, and navigation. Next, I updated the file iOS bod file to target iOS platform 13.5 and higher. For Android, I navigated to the Android app folder and updated the build.grader file to target the SDK 21 or higher. I used the feature first approach to structure the app. I created a folder for every app feature and inside it, I created the layers as subfolders. I created the features folder inside the lab folder. Then I created a folder for the trip feature. Inside the trip folder, I created a services folder to connect with the Amplify backend. A data folder for the repository layer that abstracts away the networking code, specifically services. A controller folder to connect the UI with the repository. And the UI folder where I will create the widgets and pages that the app will display to the user. For the code shared across the app features, I created a common folder inside the lab folder. Inside the common folder, I created a UI folder for the widgets and the pages, a navigation folder where I will define the app routes and routing settings, a services folder where I will create a services to connect with the Amplify backend, and a utilities folder where I will create constants such as colors that the app will frequently use. I created a folder inside the navigation folder and called it router. Then I created a Dart file inside it and called it routes.dart. Inside this file, I defined the enum for the app routes. I started with three routes, home, trip, and edit trip. I created the file colors.dart inside the utilities folder. Here I created the constant variables to set the app's color.
I used the command amplify init to create the backend for the app. The amplify CLI initialized the backend and connected the project to the cloud. The CLI added a new folder called Amplify. The folder will contain the Amplify project and backend details. The CLI also added a new Dart file, AmplifyConfiguration.dart, to the lib folder. The app will use this file to know how to reach to the provisioned backend resources at runtime. I used the command amplify add auth to add the amplify authentication category to the app. I will set up the email as the sign in method. For that, I selected the default configuration options and then the email option. The auth configuration is ready. To create the resources in the cloud, I used the command amplify push. I created a new folder inside the trip UI folder and named it trips list. Inside it, I created a Dart file called trips list page. I updated the file to create the trips list page stateless widget. This will be the home page for the app. For now, the page will only include a floating action button that will do nothing when you click on it and a text widget inside a center widget. I created the trip planner app Dart file inside the lib folder. Here, I will use the go router package to set up the app routes, starting with the home route that will use the trip list page. I wrapped the material app in an Amplify Authenticator widget. Next, I updated the main.dart file to add the logic of configuring Amplify for the auth category. When the configuration is complete, I will pass a flag to the Trips Planner app. And that's all what I need to do to add Amplify Authentication to the app. I run the app and I got a fully working authentication flow that allows the users to use their email to sign up for the app. Amplify will use Cognito to send a confirmation code to the user's email. Then the user need to submit the code into the app to complete the registration. Now it is time to add the Amplify API to the app. For that, I use the command Amplify Add API. I selected the GraphQL option. I edited the authorization modes to select the Amazon Cognito User Pool option. I enabled the conflict detection which is required for the Amplify data store. I started with a blank schema. The CLI will add a new folder for the API inside the Amplify backend folder. Inside the folder, you can find the schema GraphQL file. I updated the file to define the trip model. For the model, I will use a trip name, destination, start and end date, trip image URL, and trip image key. The model will use an owner-based auth rule. To generate the trip model Dart file, 
I use the command amplify code gen models. The CLI generated the Dart files inside the lib models folder. Next, I used the command amplify push to create the resources in the cloud. The CLI deployed the resources and displayed a confirmation. I updated the configure amplify function inside the main.dart file to add the Amplify Data Store and ABI plugins. I created a new Dart file inside the Trib Services folder and named it Trips Data Store Service Dart. The TRIPS data store service will include the following functions. Listen to TRIPS function, which will query the Amplify data store for the TRIPS and stream a list of them. Listen to BAS TRIPS function will query the data store for the BAS TRIPS and stream a list of them. Get TRIPS stream function will query the Amplify data store for a specific trip using the ID. Additionally, the service will include the functions add trip, delete trip, and update trip for adding, deleting, or updating the trips in the data store. I created the Dart file trips repository inside the trips data folder. The TRIPS repository is an abstract for the TRIPS data store service. I created functions to get the TRIPS and the busted TRIPS, and functions for adding, updating, and deleting a TRIP. Finally, a function to get the TRIP using the ID. I will use stream providers to access the repository functions. I created the files trips list controller dart inside the trip controller folder. The UI will use the controller to add a new trip by creating the trip item and passing it as a parameter to the trip repository dot add function. I created a new dart file inside the trip UI trips list folder and named it add trip bottom sheet. The app will use this file to present a form to the user to submit the required details to create a new trip. The form will use a set of text form field widgets to collect the required details. For the start and end date, I will use a date picker widget. When the user enter the details and click on the OK button, the app will submit the information to the add function inside the trips list controller. I created the file tripcart.dart inside the trip UI trips list folder. I used the file to create a widget to display the trip information. The widget is a card inside an inkwell widget. It will use a stack to display the trip destination and trip image. If there is no image, then it will display the placeholder image from the app assets. 
The trip card will also display the name, start date, end date of the trip. Next, I updated the code of the trips list page. It will use the trips list stream provider to get the user's trips. I added a function for the floating action button to display the add trip bottom sheet. I created a grid view to display the trips using the trip cart widget. The code is now complete. I run the app and I can create trips.